right, guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a thriller from Austria, German language English subs, released in the year 2017, directed by Stefan Rosowitzki, and this film is called Cold Hell. So Cold Hell is set in Vienna. You've got a young Turkish woman who works as a taxi driver. She's going around the city. We learn that she has a lot of problems in her personal life, but those problems are going to be nothing in comparison to the new problems she's found herself in, in that she accidentally witnesses the brutal murder at the hands of a sadistic serial killer that has been terrorising the street. So this serial killer is very barbaric in what he does, he's very intelligent, and so the, the killer doesn't want any witnesses to his crimes, so he ends up chasing this woman through the streets. But what the serial killer doesn't realise is that this woman is very competent in self-defence, and that she will, is not going to go down so easy. But the more that this female learns about the serial killer, the more complicated the situation is going to get, which puts her survival in great jeopardy. So whether or not she can survive this onslaught is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I am going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Cold Hell. This is a movie that I'd been interested in for quite a while, but it didn't really entice me to track it down as soon as possible. It didn't really excite me to the point of a lot of other films, and the reason is because Stefan Rosowitzki is definitely a director that I have a lot of conflicted uh, thoughts upon. Is that he made a movie called Anatomy from Germany that was a horror film that had a lot of accolades, a lot of hype, but I thought that was very disappointing is that it had positives, but unfortunately the negatives overshadowed the positives to a degree where I just didn't feel as though it was for me. And so that was a movie I had so much expectation for, but I come away from it bitterly disappointed. So in there in turn, I came into this movie not really expecting much. And so I thought to myself, I'm definitely going to give this a shot when the opportunity arises, but I'm not going to go out of my way to see it. So when I finally got the chance to watch it, my expectations were at a very curious level. Wasn't expecting too much, but I was hoping that maybe this is a film that that comes away as a, a hidden gem and maybe a film where I was really glad that I took the time to watch. And I will say that I enjoyed Cold Hell a lot more than I enjoyed Anatomy, but it does possess problems that are a little bit too big to ignore, and therefore it does dampen the experience to some degree. But I thought as though it was a serviceable thriller. It was a movie that had really good car chases, there were some very suspenseful set pieces, and so as far as the thriller is concerned, there were moments and set pieces that I thought were really, really competent. And it had you on the knife's edge, it had you on the edge of your seat, and you're wondering what the serial killer was all about and where he was going to strike next. It's a very brutal film. And I really like the idea of the female empowerment that Stefan Rosowitzki brings to his films. There was a sense of female empowerment in Anatomy, and there's a sense of female empowerment in Cold Hell. So the traditional sort of hero of a film is the male, is that the male is the stronger one, and the male is the, the one that's going to look after the female. But in this film, and in Anatomy to some degree, the female is fighting for herself. It shows that the female is very capable. And so it's always good to see, you know, that these movies that portray the female in a very strong sense as opposed to someone that needs you know, protecting and so this is the main character I thought was fairly interesting she doesn't look like she is a really tough woman but she is very very competent in defending herself and there's very brutal ways that she defends herself that I thought was actually quite intriguing it was a little bit different and so I thought that her side stories uh, they were okay but I do have a few problems with the side stories and the overall way that the story is told in general but I like the serial killer and I like some of the kills is that it was a fairly brutal film and I really like the cinematography something that this director possesses and actually uses very well is his atmosphere. This is a very dreary atmosphere. It's caught in the city underbelly of uh, Vienna. It's not an overly attractive film, although it's very well polished. It still has that sense of dread. It still has that sense of danger. And so although this woman could fight for herself and defend herself, I never felt as though she was indestructible. I always thought that if she stumbled and did the wrong thing, she would be under a lot of pressure. And so there are some very ghastly moments. So it does tick a lot of right boxes. And I thought the runtime was fairly decent but unfortunately the consistency of the film is all over the place is that there are moments that has a really riveting car chase you know basically moments that make you out of breath but unfortunately there are moments where it goes into a lull and because of that lull you're allowed to catch your breath and you want to get to the next action set pieces because the last one took you by surprise at how well choreographed it was but unfortunately when it goes into the character development the characters aren't that interesting the the love interest of this woman and her past although it was okay you, know, you, don't, you don't hate these characters it still wasn't interesting enough to really uh, justify the break between action sequences and so when you have 
have action sequences that are so much better than the characters themselves and just putting yourself into that specific situation, I thought as though it was filler. It was that it was kind of allowing you to catch your breath for the next uh, action episode and next action set piece, whereas it would have been a lot better if the film didn't allow you to catch your breath. And it was an exhausting experience and exhausting in all the right ways, but unfortunately, the exhausting aspects of this film come from waiting for the next action set piece. And so because the action is so much better than the overall story and the characters, I thought as though the continuity was very disjointed and there's a lot of filler in this movie. It always felt like it had one really good action scene and it was just building itself to the next action scene as opposed to giving you a little bit more depth to the overall characters. And so I didn't really care as much for the specific people, but I was really impressed by how good these action set pieces were. And that was something I had a problem with in Anatomy is that the horror aspects of that film were very, very good. It was a very brutal film. It was a very creepy movie, whereas, you know, Cold, uh, Cold Hell is very creepy in its atmosphere. But unfortunately, the characters just aren't that interesting to really capitalise and justify the moments it has where it goes a little bit slow. It's trying to give you insight into characters that are not interesting. Therefore, it just doesn't work. And so, yeah, you have a really good moment, then just it, it's a little bit of talking. And then a really good moment and a little bit of talking, whereas it could have been a short film, just non-stop action, suspense, you know, chase, uh, chase sequences and this serial killer doing horrible things to people but unfortunately I just felt as though it didn't know exactly how to blend in character development with action set pieces and so the action overshines the, uh, the characterization and unfortunately there's a little bit too much time to the characterization that really makes it a fluent piece. It just felt like a movie where I was distracted a lot of the time therefore I come away from it. Although you know, it is a serviceable film it's ultimately disposable and that's because of the fact that characters aren't that interesting and the director is unable to mould characters in a very interesting way where you can genuinely care about them. So ultimately this film, as is the case with Anatomy, is that you're just waiting for the, the thriller uh, set pieces to come into play and uh, it's basically allowing you to catch your breath and it feels like the characterization of this movie is just a stopgap between the next impressive set of choreography and so that was a major disappointment but it's not a terrible film it does have its moments but unfortunately not enough to really come away from it uh, overly impressed so overall for cold hell going to give this one two and a half stars still go out there and see it there are moments that are going to please people but unfortunately it's just the consistency is not there Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, thank you for watching movies and I'll see you later.